Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to make your own stove, waste oil burner and lots and lots of other DIY related projects, start now and subscribe and click that bell icon so that you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to make a waste oil burner. This is a little bit different than what I normally do, but about six or seven months ago I did a video that's getting very popular at the moment. So here we have a biscuit tin, okay, just a standard biscuit tin. And I drilled three quarter inch holes all the way around. Now this is a quality street kind of sweet tin. You know, and I just put a heap of holes in it. It doesn't really matter, this is just an experiment. So okay, that's our burner, okay? It's sitting on a table. I have a metal plate on the table. This is going to sit on that. Okay, so that's it. This is waste oil. I can't really show you, but it is. It's, it's black waste oil, okay? Maybe you'll see it going in, okay? So I'm just pouring in a bit, okay? Now, this is a brake disc. Now this is just for fun, right? This is just to show you how easy it is to make a waste oil burner. They're not difficult. Just a car brake disc, okay? Okay, now I've got about two meters of flue, okay? This is stainless steel, lightweight flue, okay? It's nothing special. Um, you could make this out of, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. But anyway, look. Now so far we've three items, okay? We've got a biscuit tin or a sweet tin, we've got a, a car rotor, you know, a, a brake disc, and we've got some five inch flue, okay? I've got a bit of fiberglass rope, I'm just gonna put it around that just for a seal. It also tightens it up and stops it falling down on me. Okay? Now it's a little bit windy here. Okay, so let's see if it stands. Barely. Okay, the wind is actually blowing this way, so it's not helping. Okay, this is rough and ready. I've wedged that with a stone, okay? So here we go. Now, we've got some kerosene. Okay, so literally, I'm just going to squirt some kerosene into it. It just makes it easier to light. So you can see that? Bit of kerosene. Okay, so I'm just removing the, the remnants of the oil. Just put that out of the way. Okay, we want to control combustion and also the, the kerosene. Now that's it. Essentially, we've made a waste oil burner. You know, just a few components. So you can see one of the stoves I made over here to the left-hand side. And I had waste oil burning in that a couple of days ago. And it was really good. Now, you know, for something that wasn't prepped for waste oil, I just put some in it, a little bit of a setup, and off it went. Okay, so if this falls over, it falls over. But So there's nothing combustible around, okay? We've got some kerosene in there, we've got some waste oil, and we've got a, hopefully, a flame, right? Okay, so. Now I'm looking to get the kerosene to ignite. Okay. Let's put some more kerosene in. Okay. It's quite windy. Okay, can you hear that? Now if this blows over, I have to let it go. I can't touch it. There you go. What should happen now? Okay, so it's smoking a lot at the moment. <laughs> and it doesn't look great. But look, it's a waste oil burner of sorts. Now if it gets hot enough... Now we'll get that flame to happen up here, which it will eventually when it gets hot. It should stop smoking as well. Maybe you can see it, it's beginning to get red now on the flu. Okay, so it's too windy. What's happening is the wind is blowing the you know the combustible gases away. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so you can see it's behaved now, it's not smoking anymore. 
and uh, but my problem is the wind is, is quite powerful here at the minute but you can see it's red hot all we would have to do is introduce a drip feed system into that and we have a waste oil burner that's it simple as that Okay, you can see it makes a tremendous amount of heat. It's a bit dangerous, you know, it's very dangerous. But look, that's it. Don't do this at home. It's just an experiment to show you how little it takes to make waste oil actually burn. Okay, so that's it. If you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Okay, so it's exhausted its fuel, and that's it, it's nearly spent now. But look, it's a very easy concept, very easy to make, and very easy to enhance and make better. You know, so there you go, you've got some information, and uh, there's lots of you out there that could do something with it. Okay, so that's it, if you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, so that was the flu gun. Okay, so I'm not going to pick up the flu because it's red hot. And we'll let this thing go out. Not a lot of oil left in it anyway. Okay, so that's it. See you in the next video. Bye for now.